Today, we're looking at the new beta version of Output's co-producer, a new way to generate sample packs with AI. Let's get into it. Today, Output launched the new beta version of co-producer, AI built for music makers. The first feature they're releasing is called Pack Generator, which creates a sample pack by simply describing it. Pack Generator works by describing anything you want, then you pick your favorite sample pack, and then you download your royalty-free sample packs. Output says more co-producer AI tools are on the way, but for now, let's take a look at the beta version of Output Co-Producer. All right, so here we are at the Output website. I already have an Output account. I'm a big fan of Output stuff. I've been using Arcade and, and all of their other plugins for years. So let's just take a look at this co-producer. So if you go to the website, there's a banner at the top, introducing co-producer AI built for music makers. Let's click on that. So you can watch this uh, video from the output owner kind of introducing the uh, pack generator. And uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting. So I'm just going to hit start creating. So enter a prompt, listen to the previews, then download your favorite pack. Uh, they give you some examples of prompts here. R&B with romantic, electric piano, and swung drums, G minor, 80 BPM, or intense and sus suspenseful movie trailer score with big percussion hits and chilling strings. All right. <laughs> So it's basically like chat GPT for music. But, you know, in my opinion, output is pretty tasteful. The, the stuff that they create, honestly, is pretty incredible, works great. And what I like about output is that they don't just create everything for you. They give you tools to inspire that help you add to the creations that you're making, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and enter a prompt. Let's just say ambient, vibey, synth, we'll do C minor, we'll do 80 BPM, generate four new packs. All right. All right. Okay, so that took like 10 seconds and they have generated four packs for me. So let's go ahead and audition these. We'll check on pack one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. Let's try two. that one. I like how there's like kind of a pad underlying everything, but they've got some of that arpeggiated movement as well. I like that. Let's check number three. Let's do pack number four. I like that. I like that. So yeah, my favorites are pack two and pack four, both of those, honestly, uh, th that's the kind of stuff that I would use for uh, podcast music, making bed music, kind of atmospheric, you know, kind of music to lay uh, under the storytelling. Uh, so here at the bottom, 
there's kind of a regeneration mode here where you can hit this and it's going to replace these four with new ones. But let's go ahead and download one of the ones that we generated. And I'm just going to download number two. Okay, so it's, it's rendering it out and turning it into a sample pack. This is going to be so interesting. All right, so it's gonna give me a place to save this. So right, right now, I'll just go ahead and save this on my desktop. Wow, okay, so I mean, that basically took like 10 seconds to create that sample pack and download it. Let's go ahead and open that up in a Reaper session. All right, so here we are in a Reaper session. Let's go ahead and take a look at the downloaded sample pack and what all is included. So this is, it comes with two folders. So there's the sample pack, which if you click on that, there's two parts, ambient synth pad and Vibe arpeggiated synth. So if you go into the ambient synth pad, there's a bunch of different samples, which we'll go through here in a second. And same, if you go into the Vibe arpeggiated synth, bunch of different samples. Also below the sample pack included, in the download are track stems. And it looks like this just has ambient synth pad, uh, vibey, arpeggiated synth, and the mix. So let's go ahead and cycle through some of these sounds in our sampler. We'll go into the sample pack and we'll go into the ambient synth pad. So here is deep pad lush space. Okay, let's try another one. I mean, this is pretty killer. Just getting all of these different elements all in the BPM of 80 and all in C minor. Okay, let's check out the Vibe arpeggiated synth. Oh, that's super cool. So I'm imagining how this is gonna work eventually when it's all said and done is that you're gonna be able to load these into your arcade player. Um, not sure exactly how to do that at the moment, but I, I'm imagining that's what the final product of this is gonna be when it's out of beta. All right, that, that's cool. Let's go ahead and drag this up and make a track. Um, and let me make sure that I my BPM is in 80. Let's just turn the click on and double check this. Yeah, right on the click. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with this sound. And let's go back to the ambient synth pads. Drag this first one up in here. Okay, and let's listen together. Yeah, maybe we'll just kind of take that first part out here. 
and see what that sounds like. Very cool. So basically you can just mix and match these. They all they all work together. And let's just maybe bring one more element. I like that. Let's drag this up here and let's just do, listen to what this sounds like. Okay, so, I mean, just from trying this out, I'm sold. Uh, I mean, this is like obviously just an incredible creative tool that they're developing. So I'm going to be amazed to see how this happens. I would encourage all of you, if you're music producers, uh, if you already use output products, man, I would go check this out, start um, experimenting with this and just see, see what happens. It, this just seems like an amazing creative tool just to help with music production or if you create, you know, music for podcasts or film or whatever, what an amazing tool. And it looks like Output is doing a really great job. All right, well, thanks for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure and give it a like, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss videos I put out. I'll leave links in the description for Output Co-Producer. All right, take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time. Peace out.